Hello and welcome you all to this channel. Dear students, without wasting the time, let us dive into the topic. Today's topic is circular convolution using DFT IDFT method. It is also called Stockman's method. Do remember this name. Earlier, I have created videos on calculation of DFT and IDFT as well as circular convolution using graphical method and matrix method. You should watch both these videos. In today's video, we will be learning different technique. The numericals are expected on this te technique that uh, calculates circular convolution using DFT and IDFT method. It will be clearly mentioned in the method, in the question. Then and then only do use this method. Otherwise, you can use earlier methods. What are the steps while solving the numericals? Step one is calculate DFT of given sequences. Given sequences will be say x1 of n and x2 of n. You will be calculating four point DFT of these sequences. It is denoted by x1 of k and x2 of k. Step two is take multiplication of these two answers. What you will get in the first step. So that is y of k is x1 of k into x2 of k. Third step is calculate IDFT, inverse DFT of y of k. So this IDFT in circular convolution is denoted by y of m because m is the notation used in circular convolution. So let us solve few numericals. There are only two variations, two types of numericals. We will be covering both the types of numericals in this session so that there won't be any problem uh, for solving numerical based on this method. So let us start solving the numerical. The question is use four point DFT and IDFT to determine circular convolution of these two sequences. Now, as I mentioned, the, the this thing will be clearly mentioned in the question use four point DFT and IDFT. This is the matrix of W4. As I mentioned earlier, if you haven't yet watched that video of calculation of DFT, do watch it presently. You need to memorize this matrix. It's very simple. This is the matrix of W4. Now, First, I will be calculating DFT of x1 of n. It is denoted by x of x1 of k. Formula is this matrix W4. Square bracket indicates it is a matrix of W4. W4 is called as twiddle factor. This is the matrix of W4 into x1 of n. This x1 of n, I need to write it as a column matrix. Presently, I have written the matrix of W4. Look at the formula. So I will write it like this x1 of k is equals to this matrix w4 which I have already written into x1 of n, n. This x1 of n you need to write as a column matrix. So I will write it over here 1, 2, 3, 1. Now if you have forgotten to take the multiplication matrix multiplication I will tell you consider first uh, row and this column. So 1 into 1. So I will be writing answer over here. 1 into 1, that is 1, then 1 into 2, plus 2, 1 into 3, plus 3, 1 into 1, plus 1. First row, this column. Next, second row, same column. So 1 into 1, 1, then minus 2, minus j into 2, it is minus 2j, minus 1 into 3, it is minus 3, and j into 1 that is plus j then third row same column so it is 1 minus 2 then 3 minus 1 last row same column it is 1 plus 2j because this is j into 2 2j minus 1 into 3 minus 3 minus j into 1 that is minus j let us simplify the calculation this answer will be 7 then this is minus 2 minus j because this minus 2j plus j becomes minus j. Then next answer is minus 1. It will be 1. It will be plus 1. And next answer will be minus 2 plus j. As I mentioned in the earlier uh, videos of uh, DFT, how to cross check the answers? If you are getting a complex term, this is called as a complex term, minus 2 minus j. There must be complex conjugate. That means in the answer, there must be a term containing plus sign. So it is minus 2 plus j. Here I had minus j. So this is the answer of x1 of k. I will write 
this answer over here. So x1 of k is written as a sequence. This sequence is 7, then minus 2 minus j, then 1 and minus 2 plus j. This is the calculation of x1 of k. Similarly, we will be calculating the answer for x2 of k. Matrix remains same. Only calculations will differ. Now see, I need to calculate value of x2 of k. So here I will make x2 of k. Matrix of W n remains as it is. This will be x2 of k and this is x2 of n. Like the previous case, you just have to write x2 of n as a column matrix. So I will be writing over here 4, 3, 2, 2. Similar to previous calculation, I need to take multiplication of these two matrices. So this multiplication will be again this row and this column. So it is 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2. Very simple because all these values are uh, 1, 1, 1. Next, second row, this column. So it is 4 minus 3j minus 2, then plus 2j. Third row, 4 minus 3 plus 2 minus 2. Last row, same column. It is 4 plus 3j then minus 1 into 2, minus 2, minus j into 2, minus 2j. Let us write the final answer. It is 11, then 2 minus j. Next is, this value is 1, and last will be 2 plus j. So now, I got answer of x to op k. This is called as DFT of second sequence x to op n. So answer of x2 of n, I will be writing like this, x2 of n is equals to 11, then 2 minus j, 1, 2 plus j. This is the first step. What we did, we calculated the value of DFTs, that is x1 of k and x2 of k. Now, next step, what we have written? Calculate y of k. What we have written in the next step? Calculate y of k. How to do it? It is x1 of k into x2 of k. This is not normal multiplication of sequences. How to do it? I will be doing calculation over here. y of k is, I need to multiply these two sequences. So take the multiplication of corresponding values. That means first term of this, that is 7, it will be multiplied with 11 only, not with the entire sequence. First term of x1 of k and first term of x2 of k, 11 into 7. That will be the first answer, that is 77. Then, second term, that is minus 2 minus j. And second term of x2 of k, that is 2 plus j. Big question arises, how to do this calculation? You don't have to do this calculation manually, strictly no. You can do it on the calculator. I have already created one video, uh, uh, that is first video in, in this channel how to do the calculations on scientific calculator. Please watch that video because such calculations are required in many subjects. So directly these calculations can be done on the complex mode of calculator. So I'll be directly writing the answers. So it is minus five. J gets cancelled. Then this one into one, simply one. And last part, that's this two plus J, uh, minus two plus J and two plus J. This answer is again minus five. This is the answer of y of k. Third step. What we have written in the third step, we need to calculate IDFT of y of k. Now, what is the formula to calculate IDFT? The formula to calculate IDFT is y of m, since it is a circular convolution, it is denoted by y of m, is 1 by n. n means how many number of samples are there. In both the sequences, there are four samples. So in this case, I will be writing it as 1 by 4. Presently, I am writing the formula. Then matrix Wn asterisk. Asterisk means complex conjugate into y of k. This is the formula to calculate inverse DFT. As I said, n will be number of samples present in both the sequence. There are four samples in x1 of n, four samples in x2 of n. So n will be 4. So it will be 1 by 4. What about this Wn asterisk? Just remember only one matrix of W4, which I had already written. Now, how to generate W4 asterisk? Asterisk means complex conjugate. Keep 1 and minus 1. Wherever 1 and minus 1 is there, keep it as it is. 
only change the sign of j term for example this is minus j i will make it plus j since it is plus it's optional you, even if you won't write it's okay so i'm just keeping it j this is plus j originally it was plus j i will make it minus j this one minus one remains as it is this is plus j make it minus j this is minus j make it plus j so i am removing this side this is the matrix w n asterisk complex conjugate so what i said just remember one matrix of w4 you can well generate any required matrix so let us do this calculation so this is y of m is equals to 1 by 4 from where this 1 by 4 came this is 1 by n so it is 1 by 4 into w n asterisk this matrix we have generated and now write this y of k as a column matrix so i will be writing y of k as a column matrix over here so this is 77 minus 5 1 minus 5 let us perform this let us perform this matrix multiplication keep this 1 by 4 outside now same logic what we did earlier take the matrix multiplication 1 into 77 then plus 1 into minus 5 like this so it becomes 77 minus 5 plus 1 minus 5 then next row same calculation what we did earlier so directly uh, i am writing values so it is 77 then minus 5j this is minus 1 this into this then minus and minus become plus so it becomes plus 5j next this part into this so 77 minus 1 into minus 5 becomes plus 5 1 into 1 becomes 1 minus 1 into minus 5 becomes plus 5 last row same column 77 minus j into minus 5 minus minus become plus so it is plus 5j minus 1 into 1 it is minus 1 and last term j into minus 5 that is minus 5j just go on adding the term whatever answer you will be getting do it on calculator see in the final answer remember one more trick one more clue rather in the final answer there must not be any j term let us verify it so i will write it like this 1 by 4 into take addition of all these values so it is 68 then add all these things this minus 5j plus 5j gets cancelled and this is 76 then 88 next again plus 5j minus 5j gets cancelled so it is 76 divide each term by 4 because there is 1 by 4 outside this so final answer will be 17, 19, 22 and 19. This is the final answer. So we have calculated circular convolution using uh, DFT IDFT method. Final answer must be written as a sequence. So it is 17, 19, 22 and 19. Let us solve one more numerical to get an idea what are the possible variations in this problem. Next problem is use DFT method to find convolution of these two sequences. Only values are different. Last part is altogether different. Also verify the answer. This is an extra part. As I mentioned earlier, only there are two possible variations in such type of numerical. So like the previous case, we'll be calculating first part x1 of k. This is matrix W4, which we used uh, same matrix in the last problem. Write x1 of n as a column matrix that is 1, 2, 1, minus 2. Perform the matrix multiplication. Directly I am writing the answer because we did it same thing in the last problem. So this sequence will be 2 minus 4j then 2 and plus 4j. This is x1 of k. Similarly to calculate x2 of k. Just change the sequence. Matrix will remain same. Here you will be writing x2 of n as a column matrix 3 minus 2 1 minus 3. This answer will be this is the answer of x1 of k. Second x2 of k I am writing this answer below the first answer. It is minus 1 then 2 minus j 9 2 plus j. Everything is similar like the previous case. 
take multiplication of these two it is denoted by y of k as i mentioned earlier perform this multiplication like this 2 into minus 1 so first value will be minus 2 then this into this do it in on calculation a uh, calculator using complex mode of calculation so it is minus 4 minus 8j next value is 18 and next value is minus 4 plus 8j now last step this is y of k last step calculate idft like the previous sum so idft is y of m which is 1 by 4 complex conjugate of this matrix we already discussed change the signs of j term only remaining things are as it is here you will be writing this y of k as a column matrix so minus 2 minus 4 minus 8j 18 minus 4 plus 8j perform this calculation this into this whatever answer you are you will be getting like the previous sum divide that answer by 4 because 1 by 4 is outside this matrix so answer of y of m is 2 minus 1 6 minus 9 this part is exactly same as that of the last sum only values are different remaining part is different what is mentioned in the question verify the answer now listen carefully if it is mentioned like this he verify the answer using graphical method then you need to solve the same problem same calculation of circular convolution using graphical method of circular convolution but no method is mentioned so i, I have a choice i can use any method let us make use of the matrix method to verify the answer what we learned in earlier videos in the matrix method first write one matrix as it is that is i, I, I will be writing uh, x1 of n as it is before that x2 of n write it as a column matrix so it is 3 minus 2 1 minus 3 go on rotating the samples this minus 3 bring it at first position so it will be at first position then every sample as if you are rotating like this so minus 3 will be at top position so every sample will be shifted downward so this 3 will be here minus 2 will be here 1 will be here again rotate it so it is 1 1 will come at the top position every sample will be shifted downward like this this minus 2 comes here 3 comes here minus 3 comes here then again rotate it by one position so it is minus 2 1 minus 3 3 how many times it has to be rotated you should get a matrix of size 4 rows and 4 columns because there are 4 samples in the given sequence next write the second matrix that is x1 of n as it is as a column matrix 1 2 1 minus 2 now this calculation is very simple directly you will get answer of y of m which is the matrix multiplication of these two things so let us do this calculation so again same rule this row and this column so it becomes 3 then minus 3 into 2 minus 6 1 into 1 1 then minus minus become plus and 4 so next calculation minus 2 into 1 that is minus 2 3 into 2 6 minus 3 into 1 minus 3 1 into minus 2 minus 2 next third row same column 1 minus 2 into 2 minus 4 3 into 1 3 minus 3 into minus 2 plus 6 minus minus become plus last row same column minus 3 plus 2 minus 2 then this minus 6 this answer will be 2 then minus 1 6 and last answer will be minus 9 so we have got the same answer like the previous case this is how the answers can be verified but do remember the basic concept if it is mentioned also verify the answer using graphic met graphical method or concentric circle method one and the same thing names are different then you to you need to follow those methods so as i mentioned uh, uh, at the beginning of this video i'll be providing the links of other videos which are required for such calculations that means calculation of circular convolution calculation of complex mode and so on so that's it for today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you. Thank you very much.